ChatGPT is awesome. We already know this, but since the introduction of plugins, it's now a million times better, especially when you use this plugin just here. Now, what this will allow you to do is speed up your research process. So what we go ahead and do in this video is use this plugin to help us research and create wallpapers that we could potentially sell online. We actually go through the process and create this one just here. So, what we're going to be doing is using this ChatGPT plugin. Now, unless you have the paid version of ChatGPT, then you're not able to use the plugins which they've recently released. Now, this plugin is called WebPilot, and what it does is browse and QA web pages, PDF, and data. It can generate articles from one or more URLs. Now, this means that we can go over to other websites like Etsy, we can go over to Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, and any similar website. We can then take the URL of that website, go over to ChatGPT, and it's going to read the data from that website, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, this video is all about creating seamless patterns, digital papers, and backgrounds, all because this is what I've been doing the last few days. But this method of taking the URL of any website can be done when researching anything. Now, I've also been doing this with KDP recently, and I am going to have a video all about that very, very soon. Now, on these websites, which is Etsy, Creative Fabrica, and Creative Market, I've typed in seamless patterns, and this is what I've got. So now, let's head on over to here, to ChatGPT, because I have a set of prompts to share with you which you can use to find lots of different niches for creating these types of patterns. Then it's going to give you a mid-journey prompt, which you can just go straight over to mid-journey, plug it in, and start creating. So I'm going to share with you this whole process. So first, we need to type this. Scan this website and make me a list of all of the seamless pattern niches. And then this is the URL from Creative Market. So now, if we click Enter, let it do its thing for a second, we should get a list of niches from that specific website because it's going to go over and scan this page. Now, what I could have also done is ask for 10, 15, or 20, but we're going to leave it like this. So here we are. It's gone and scanned this website, this web page just here, and it's given us all of the niches from that page. So we have abstract shape, collage, nature, geometric, halftone, people, gradients, retro, and many more. So now what we can do is use this as a base to start creating prompts for seamless patterns in these niches. So now what we want to do is put in the second part of these prompts. Now let me run through this. So it says, I want you to give me some ideas for seamless pattern wallpapers from the list above that I could create, but I want them in the form of mid-journey prompts. Now, right here is a list of examples. So it says, here's some example mid-journey prompts to help you. Now, all these are my prompts from over here. So again, over the last few days, I've actually been playing around, just creating lots of different wallpapers, seamless patterns, and backgrounds. And it's actually been pretty fun, and I'm in the process of opening shops on different marketplaces to see if I can sell them. But what I went ahead and did was take some of these prompts which I created from here, and then plugged them into this. So right here, we have a turquoise foil paper texture background. We have golden leaves, a close-up of tiger feathers, and there was another one which was tropical leaves print background. So I took five examples, plugged that in, and then I put now create me five ideas from the niche list using this prompt structure. 
and also give me a descriptive name for each idea so that I can name my finished product. Now in this set of prompts just here, you can also specify what type of niche you want to create, but we're just going to let ChatGPT do its thing. So now that's been inputted, and now we're going to get some ideas, some prompts, which we can then take over to Midjourney and start creating. Now what we're also going to do is take one of these prompts, maybe two, because they're not always perfect, plug them into Midjourney and see what we get. So let's just give that a second. I think that's almost done. There we go. We now have five prompts that we could go and use. And these, all these ideas just here, are taken from the niche list. Now there's one more step which you probably want to do as well. And that is that you want ChatGPT to make you more suggestions on one of these ideas. So we could go with marble. We could go with this elegance. So let's do that. Let's go with number five. So let's type that in like so. Can you give me five more ideas based on number five? So let's give that a second as well. Absolutely, here are five more ideas. So now we have silver chevron chick, bronze lattice lux. That sounds pretty good. We're going to run through one of these in mid journey as well. Then we have pearl herringbone purity, a copper crosshatch class, and platinum herringbone prestige. Let's try this one. We're going to take this prompt. Let's go over to mid journey. Now what we can also do from here is just say five more ideas. And then it's going to give us five more ideas. In fact, let us let it just do its thing and then we'll take one of these instead. So we've got emerald, we have ruby. That sounds pretty good actually. Let's go ahead and take this one. So we're going to take this prompt, which we can now take over to mid journey, plug it in and start creating. Now let's just leave that for one more. So we have omix, herringbone, opulence. So there's five more ideas. Now let's come over to mid journey. Let's put in imagine we're going to do tile and let's do a different aspect ratio so let's do ar2 by 1. now let's just give that a second to do its thing as well what i do from here as well is normally take this plug it in three more times or two more times let's do just two like so and then that way we have more ideas to play with so let's just give this a second and there we go. We now have some pretty nice wallpapers. Now what I'll do from here is just choose one which I really like and then make slight variations on one. So I have around about 12 variations and then you could bundle that up as a package. So let me show you the process for that as well. Let's take a quick look at these. I really like this one, possibly that one as well. Let's take a look at these ones. I'm not that keen on these ones, so what we're going to do is just delete these. Let's go to cancel. Let's take a look at this last one. So I really like this one as well, and this top one. So let's go ahead and upscale just one of these. In fact, I think we're going to go with this fourth one just here. So now we're going to go to upscale number four. We're going to give that a second. And now I'm going to show you a really easy way to make variations. Now what you want to do is click on the image. You want to open it up in a new tab. We're going to take the URL. We're going to go back over to mid journey. We're going to plug that in here. And then we're going to take the whole prompt. So we're going to copy this. We're now going to click enter. We're going to copy the whole prompt because we're going to input this a few times as well. We're going to go once, we're going to go twice, and then we're going to go three times. Now let's just give this a second as well to do its thing. And there we go. And now we have more wallpapers based on that first one just here. So from here, what I do is go through and just start upscaling the ones that I like. So if we take a quick look, all these look pretty good. There doesn't seem to be any issues. So I'd upscale all of these like so. Then I'd just delete this because I like to get rid of it. And then I'd go through and do the rest as well. So right here, these look good. 
So one, two, three, four, I'm happy with all of them. So I'd upscale all of these as well, like so. And then I'd also delete that. And I'd keep doing this until I have enough wallpapers for a bundle. Now, if we go over to the other part of Mid Journey, just here, we can take a look at these. Now, the good thing about doing repeating patterns, when you click on them just here, it's actually repeated as we can see. Now this looks a little bit blurry, I think it's just my internet connection at the minute as we've just had a thunderstorm, but if we click on these they actually look pretty good as we can see. Let's just do a couple more, we have that one as well, and this one, this is actually probably my favourite. So if you're interested in creating seamless patterns, backgrounds, wallpapers or things of those nature then come over to ChatGPT. Make sure you have ChatGPT4. Remember it is the paid option and then enable the web pilot plugin as you can use this for research and to scan websites to collect the data. Now if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go ahead and hit subscribe as well, and if you want to watch the rest of my AI videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.